Well, that was crazy. We've had badgers, coyotes knock over the call, and now what? Now a woodpecker. Not a woodpecker, I mean a roadrunner. <laughs> a woodpecker. A roadrunner. <laughs> it was only about three minutes, and I saw something kind of just run down real quick. I was like, what the heck? It looked like we just called in a bird. Because I, I caught a glimpse, and it looked like a bird flying, and <laughs> senior saw just the decoy fall over. He said, what's something just knocked down the decoy? So we're looking, and then a roadrunner took off running. That's a first. Maybe that's a good sign. Decoy down, let's go look at it. So we had the decoy right here on top and that bird came down from this little cut down here. And he pulled it down and it rolled down that hill. The only thing I think it might be a good sign is because we literally never see road runners. That's the first one I've seen in a long time. Do it. Don't tell me we're gonna get stuck. Maybe for the day con, but night times where it's at out here. We're gonna try to make it happen we'll see it's hunting you guys know how it goes i mainly picked this spot because it just looks like it has bobcats written all over it and the reason why we want a cat so bad is because one of our buddies he's a trapper and he lives in vegas and he said bring it over anytime and he'll take us through every single step so that's going to be a separate video it's going to be a good one mm -hmm. rabbits so are a good sign that's one dark jackrabbit huh i've never seen one that dark that's the second one we've seen he's just right there he went back to eating, huh? Yeah, get a rabbit video. Let's do it. All right guys, so we just saw some rabbits. We're coming out here to do some night hunting with our thermal and there's just rabbits all over this canyon. So I bring my belt here of shells of seven and a half shot and six shot just in case. So I'm grabbing out some shells. Let's go see if we can't get some rabbits. Get us some dinner. Might as well have some rabbit stew when we get home. All right, so we actually just saw cottontail right off over in here and I actually brought some shells that I use for cottontails, uh, size six. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get them. Might as well, rabbit tastes great. Go ahead, I'm zooming in on There he's, what, what, what? he's sitting there. Where? Oh, yep. Yeah. You ready? Go. Shot below him on the first one. There it is, there's dinner. Well, there we go, guys. <laughs> That's my first cottontail of the year. We haven't been out really after these guys. I brought some shells just in case I saw either quail or rabbits. So we got a jackrabbit down in this same wash, literally 10 yards that way. So we might do a little cook off. What tastes better, jackrabbit or cottontail? We did this a long time ago, but a lot of people want to see it again, so. That's oh. the second one. Wow, they're everywhere. This we just found a new honey hole, huh? That was what five minutes of walking, busted up like three jackrabbits, two cottons. Wow. That's tomorrow's dinner. This is the fastest rabbit hunting trip I've ever had, where we're actually getting successful on these uh, cottontails. It's been a long time, but we got our jackrabbit laying right over there. Um, we were actually out here gonna do some predator hunting and started busting up cottontails so we decided to break out the shotgun. I specifically brought shells just in case you know we found quail or rabbits and stuff and it paid off big time this time so we got dinner we got a jackrabbit there also so we're gonna do a little bit of a comparison cottontail versus jackrabbit so we're done shooting them for now we're not gonna take more than we need for one night we don't need to be freezing a lot of them when there's plenty out here we can just come out and shoot them again so these will be plenty we're gonna go ahead and gut them throw them on ice and then get out to night hunting that night hunting video is gonna be a different video though so you guys definitely want to stay tuned so here's the jackrabbit so you guys can see the difference you got two cottontail rabbits here next to a big old jack they look a lot healthier than when we're shooting them in the summer. They're gonna taste good. You can see the size difference. So if these jackrabbits taste just like these cottontails, then people have been missing out because you're literally getting two, three times as much meat on a good jack as a nice cottontail. So here we go. Three rabbits, shoot, it's not bad. Oh, that was worth it. Yeah, it was. We brought our cooler with some ice. We're gonna go ahead and clean these really quick. Cottontails aren't that big. Then you got your nice, big jackrabbits <laughs> literally make that thing look tiny so you got yourself a nice cottontail these ones are still warm since we just shot them you get your knife poke a hole through them just like that and then after you poke a hole through them let's come over here so we're not on the truck good just grab each side of the skin and pull 
So these take just a couple seconds of skin. Something I forgot to mention that's very, very important when you're hunting rabbits, you always check the liver. See the liver there? It's nice, dark red, clean looking liver. So this was a healthy rabbit. If they've got white spots on their liver, you do not want to eat them. Uh, you don't even really want to be touching them too much because you can actually get sick from a rabbit that has white spots all over its liver. So literally five minutes after we just got this guy, he's already cleaned. And uh, we're going to throw him in these bags right on ice. Well, probably took me a total of 10 minutes to clean all three. We're going to go ahead and go home, cook those rabbits up. I'll see you at the house. Ready? Come on. We're home now. I got the rabbit sling right here as you guys can see. Man, does it feel good to be off of a successful hunt. So we're gonna go ahead and cook these. There's thousands of videos and recipes on how to cook fried rabbit. If you've been a long time follower and supporter of the channel, you've actually seen us fry rabbit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach. I'm gonna cook it like I pretty much do a steak. It's just gonna be in a hot pan with some butter and a little bit of seasonings and stuff, so it should be delicious. And from my experiences, you can never really go wrong. So the first thing that's crazy is just the size difference. Literally, this one jackrabbit's probably more meat than both these cottontails combined. So there's one big rumor that I wanna just clear up right now is with these jackrabbits. A lot of people think that you cannot eat jackrabbits because all these diseases they might have, all these old rumors that you hear about, it has to freeze over first. That is false. You can eat jackrabbits and these cottontails and everything year round pretty much. The cottontails have a season um, here in Nevada, so you have to obviously follow the seasons, but the jackrabbits are year round. The only thing you really have to watch out for is uh, tularemia. And the easiest way to look for that, which we showed in the video, was to check the liver. When you check the liver, if it's a clean, dark red, healthy liver, you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, if it's got white spots on it, you don't want to eat that rabbit, and you actually want to be careful from that point on because you can catch it from those rabbits. But I've never seen it. Never, None of my friends have ever seen it and any rabbits they've cleaned. So uh, now that we've kind of cleared that up, we're gonna go ahead and start getting into it. So all we did was we removed the back straps and then we went ahead and we trimmed them up, cut off all excess piece of fat and silver skin off of the jackrabbit back straps. The cottontail ones, I went ahead and I left alone because if you trim them, you won't have much meat. Then I went ahead and I cut them into bite-sized nuggets and then we seasoned them with some salt, pepper, and some garlic powder. Then we went ahead and we cut a decent amount of butter in the bottom of a pan and you want a good amount because the butter will start to burn away and evaporate. So you want to make sure you got enough to where you're not just absolutely burning whatever you're cooking at the end of the cooking process. And we went ahead we threw the jackrabbit and the cottontail in the butter and just cooked it until it got done. We we're flipping it every once in a while. And that's pretty much exactly how I like to cook steak also. Very simple, super fast, only took about maybe five minutes and I'm ready to go ahead and taste it. So one of the most important things when cooking this is you don't want to overcook it. These might be a little bit overcooked, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. This is the jackrabbit. This is the cottontail. All right, so we kept this recipe extremely simple. If you overcook it, it will get chewy, but you want to make sure you cook it all the way through. Don't be out there eating raw rabbit and stuff. It looks absolutely fantastic, so I can't wait to try it right now. As you guys can see there, I can convince anybody any day that this is some just delicious steak, and that's some either chicken or pork. So. And we'll see if it's good right now. Looks amazing. So, Drew, you ready to eat some steak? <laughs> some pork? Some steak and some pork. <laughs> I think he saw me cooking it, so he knows. I ain't that dumb. You cut yourself a piece off of each. I'll try this piece. I already right. cut. There we go. I don't like that. You don't? That's gross. <laughs> you think so? What about that? I thought it was pretty good. There you go. I don't like it at all. I don't like the taste. I don't know what it is. There's something about it. It doesn't taste regular. It don't taste like something you buy at the store. Oh man. Oh, I so don't like it. out of everything I've cooked, this is your least favorite, obviously. Then. I don't know. At the beginning, when you first chew it, well, when you start to chew on it, it kind of tastes something about it. That's just I don't like. Let's see. I gotta taste it now to see. You can see there, cooked through. That's jackrabbit. So this one's cotton. That one's jack. Mm-hmm. It's not bad at all. He's talking just, it's got a gamey taste to it because these are wild. A little bit of a gamey taste to it. It's no, not, I didn't marinate. I mean, it's not horrible oh, if you got wow. nothing else to eat, but I don't know. All right, so now here's the cottontail. So the, the jackrabbit, what he's talking about, it's got like a gamey taste to it a little bit. He's a picky eater, so that's what I think it is. I think it's good. This cottontail is actually pretty good right here, I think. Not as gamey. A little bit more of like a fresh taste to it. Very similar though. There's barely the slight difference in them. If you went ahead and put these in milk overnight or marinated them for a while, 
I think it'd get rid of that gamey taste to it. But as of how this was cooked, just fresh, no marinating, no sitting in milk or buttermilk or anything. The cottontails has got that slight edge because it's a little bit less gamey. I don't know what Juju was talking about. He's a picky eater. We always talk about it in all our videos. You guys finally seen it, but um, I think it's great, to be honest. You guys just saw from start to finish what we do with the rabbits. That's a little bit different recipe than I usually do. Normally, we'll just fry them. And, you know, we'll let them sit in milk or buttermilk or uh, a marinade overnight to kind of get rid of that little bit of a gamey taste to them. And as you guys saw, Juju didn't like it, so I guess it's not for everybody. I personally liked it. Senior tried it off camera. He liked it. My sister liked it also. So, you know, some things people just don't like. But I thought it was great. Uh, I recommend it, especially for the cottontail. If you're going to eat the jackrabbit, I'd recommend maybe marinating it a little bit just to get rid of that slight gamey taste in it. It is a red meat, so I guess that's why. Overall, great. Looked great. The presentation would be great if you played it up nice. It wouldn't look nasty, maybe like if you fried an entire rabbit leg. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, super easy, super simple. We didn't even plan on making this video, to be honest, but we were out night hunting and saw a couple rabbits and had to close in on the opportunity, as always. You guys know we love rabbit hunting, love eating everything we go out there and harvest, so maybe one of these days we'll go out uh, for quail or something and try these small game videos do a little bit more of them we've been predator hunting a lot but you guys know we like doing that a lot it's a lot of fun we have a lot of people that have been asking for rabbit videos we finally produced one it's been kind of tough down here in southern nevada this year because we've been over 200 we've been a long long time without rain and it's been affecting a lot of our wildlife we're not seeing as many rabbits as normal we haven't even seen any quail here in southern nevada predator hunting's been slow so um that's the biggest reason it's been a little bit tough this year the rain has a lot to do with animal populations and how they're moving and stuff so uh, maybe if we get some weather coming through here we will find some more small game animals to be able to hunt for you guys and maybe we'll travel to do another like pheasant hunt or something but we got a lot of fans though that like seeing the rabbit hunting and the quail hunting and the pheasant hunting and chucker hunting and all that random good stuff so if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe for more amazing outdoor content but other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys outdoors